Hello everyone and welcome to iBasiac, my YouTube channel for all your vacuum cleaner news, views and reviews. Well, it's an unboxing for you today, an American-made Maytag upright vacuum cleaner. Now, some of my regular viewers may be saying, well, he's unboxed that one before, how's he doing it again? Well, I'll tell you. The one I unboxed earlier and did a sort of brief demo of on my channel, I sold and I regretted it. Fortunately, another one came along and I managed to grab it. So I'm going to unbox this one again, but it's going to be a quicker unboxing than the last one. But I will be doing a proper demonstration on this. Um, carpets, hard floors, everything later on uh, in the year on my channel. So anyway, here it is. It's a Maytag U5131. Now some of you in America will recognize this machine as a Hoover. In fact, in the USA, this was called the Hoover Caddyvac. So basically this is a Hoover Caddyvac that was imported into the UK by the Maytag Corporation. But this is actually a USA made machine. It wasn't made in China, like unfortunately all the Hoover products are made in China now in the UK and in the USA. This one says made in the USA on the box. So here is the box looking a bit sorry for itself, a bit battered. But anyway, it just says on it, it's an upright vacuum with removable tool rack. This is a dirty fan vacuum, in case you wondered. It's got a headlight, it's got a height control, it's got edge cleaning, it's got a soft guard bumper, and it's got allergen filtration. So here it is. Not more, not uh, much more I can say about the box. I think I've told you everything. I can't recall the wattage of this, but we'll soon find out when I assemble it because I believe there's quite a bit of assembly needed on this particular vacuum. So I'll take everything out of the box, lay it out and then we'll assemble it. Okay, everything is out of the box and because this machine has been stored since about 2001 it uh, was a little bit dusty, some of the parts, so I've given the parts a bit of a wipe and now I'm going to go through the daunting task of assembling this Maytag vacuum cleaner. As you can see <laughs> it's in quite a lot of parts. Most vacuum cleaners you buy today, if it's an upright, you normally have to assemble the handle at the very least. But with this Maytag, not only have I got to assemble the handle, I've got to assemble the bag compartment, I've even got to connect the mains cord to the machine. So, without any further ado, let's go on with the first stage of the assembly. The first part of assembly involves connecting the mains cord to the bag compartment. Now if we turn the bag compartment over we see this little switch lock. It's a little white plastic piece. You need to ensure that that is still in the machine. And then the next thing we need to do is remove the bag door and take the cord and remove this strain relief. Just pull that a little bit away from this plug. And this is the plug that plugs into the machine that connects the base of the machine to the cord. Obviously the other part of the lead is your mains plug that goes into your wall socket. At the back of the bag compartment we see this little rectangular hole and in that hole we need to insert the connector from the back of the machine. This is the rectangular end of the cord and it might be a bit difficult to see on camera but it says up on one side. So you need to ensure that when you're inserting this into the base of the back compartment that up is showing. This is the section here at the bottom that we need to put the rectangular end of the cord and you just push it into place like that and then the rest of the cord you'll see some grooves you just need to push the cord into these two slots, one here and one here. I've turned the bag compartment round now because the next thing we need to do is insert the cord protector into this slot here. This is the cord protector and when you put it in make sure it's in a downward position. You might have to jiggle it about a bit. There we go, that's in place. 
I've turned the bag compartment over and we've got a bit of excess cord which we need to either pull or push through the cord protector. And then any slack piece of cord will just push it neatly down the side. We want to leave a little bit of slack, we don't want to pull it too tight. There we go. The next part of assembly involves connecting the bag compartment to the cleaning head. So all we have to do is offer up the bag compartment to the head like this, making sure of course that the cord hooks are towards the back of the machine and we just need to push it down and you might need to use a little bit of force but don't overly force it because you don't want to break anything and you might have to jiggle it from side to side nearly there I think one more push should do it no, one more and that seems to have lined up now we need to attach the nut and bolt through this hole here this is the long bolt that we need to connect to the base of the bag compartment. Maytag have provided two nuts in case you lose one, so I'll put one away for now. And then we need to put one of the nuts into the back there and insert the bolt through the other end. I've turned the cleaner around so we can see the bolt at the bottom of the bag compartment. And I've screwed it in by hand and I'm just going to finish the job off with a screwdriver, keeping my finger on the bolt just to make sure it's not going to fall off. It is gripping, so that's it. We don't want to over tighten, and there we go, that's it. The next part of assembly is to attach the handle to the bag compartment, make sure it goes in the right way. It's just a case of pushing it down. So it's firmly in position and then we need to put two screws into these two holes here. So I've put the two screws in, I'm just going to tighten them up now. Again, don't over tighten the screws and I'm not tightening them up all the way yet. Put that other one in a bit more first. If you hear any cracking noises, you've tightened it too much. I think this one needs a few more turns. There we go, and that's assembly completed. Now I said that assembly was completed, but there are a couple more things we need to do. Now the next stage of assembly in the instructions is to put the filter bag in place. Now I've searched high and low and no filter bag was supplied with this vacuum cleaner, which is a shame because in the UK they are very expensive and hard to find. I do believe though that I can fit certain Hoover bags to this. I believe the Hoover Turbo Power bags or the um, one of the Senior bags, the Ranger Senior that used the top fill bag, I believe that will fit this. So I can't do a quick demo at the moment because I haven't got any bags to hand. So you'll have to take it as read that I've fitted the filter bag onto the bag support tube here and then once the filter bag is in place, we attach the bag door and close it. At this stage of the assembly, I can now remove this little plastic switch lock just by pulling it out. And now I should be able to operate this rather large red on-off switch. Next, we need to slide the removable tool caddy onto the side of the bag compartment. So if I just line up this part with the groove, there we go, and push it down into place. So we've got the tool caddy on the side of the machine, now we need to put the tools on. So first thing we'll put the hose on, that connects into there, and then the hose just fits around like that. Then we've got the long crevice tool and the extension tube. The crevice tool lives inside the extension tube and then that fits just in the middle there. And then finally we've got the dusting tool 
which they've set the top. Click that into place and the all-purpose nozzle that goes underneath just like that. So that's the Maytag U5131 bagged upright vacuum cleaner fully assembled and ready for one of my thorough demonstrations. Of course I'm not going to be able to show you anything today with no bag but stay tuned because I will be doing a thorough and full demonstration on this machine. If you are anxious to see this vacuum cleaner or one very like it in action search my channel for this machine and you'll see the previous unboxing if you want to watch that and uh, you'll also see a little bit of a demo but uh, it was a while ago so I don't think it was in high def and I'm ashamed to say and I can't believe I did it I actually did a demonstration wearing shorts and no socks so if you like bare feet then go for it but if you don't I suggest waiting for the new demo where I will be fully clothed. So for me and the Maytag, whatever model it is, I've already forgotten, U5131 I think, for me it's goodbye and I'll see you very soon.